How's it going guys? So today I kind of wanted to talk about something a little more serious and that's the oversaturation of zombies, Call of Duty zombies in general. Now Call of Duty is going to have zombies in every single game now pretty much. You know we've got Treyarch's zombies, we've got Exo zombies and now we have Infinite Warfare zombies. And I'm excited for it, I'm excited for Infinite Warfare zombies. I think it looks good, I checked out the stream today and I thought it had some really cool concepts going on. But my problem is, like all things in current popular culture, people just end up kind of losing interest in them. And zombies themselves, like the actual monster, they've been popular for a seemingly long time now, and I'm honestly surprised that they people haven't gotten sick of them yet. You know, we've got TV shows like The Walking Dead, iZombie, Z Nation, you got movies like Dawn of the Dead, World War Z, and then you got popular games like Dead Island and all of that. And you know, it all contributes to zombies being very popular. But as I said before, these things are kind of time limited. They run out at a certain point. And a really good example of that is actually with Call of Duty itself. People are sick of the current kind of space futuristic theme. They want to go back to boots on the ground. They want to go back to kind of a modern-ish or a World War II theme. And that's why a lot of people really like Battlefield 1 because it's a World War 1 game, you know, something that hasn't been seen in ages and it's just something different in the crop, like from all the same futuristic stuff. And another example with Call of Duty as well is the World War II genre. You know, that was oversaturated like I think between 2008 and 2010, somewhere around that period, and game companies just kind of stopped making those all together, and now people are kind of calling for those games back. But as we saw with the World War II games, and of course the futuristic games, there was an oversaturation of them. They weren't necessarily bad, but people were getting bored of them, and that's what I feel could happen with Call of Duty Zombies. You know, Infinite Warfare Zombies could be really good, it could even be better than Treyarch Zombies, but it's the fact that, you know, all three games are doing it now. You know, after this we're going to get Exo Zombies again, presumably, and then back to Treyarch Zombies, and it's just kind of going to go in a cycle. You know, Zombies, Zombies, Zombies. And it gets to the point of people getting tired of it. And I guess I'm worried that, you know, people will kind of clump it all in as part of one thing. The general audience, do they really know that there are three different developers? For Call of Duty. What's annoying though is that you could really kind of tell the difference between each company. Infinity Ward had Spec Ops as their third mode and that was something really unique and with zombies you know they thought okay let's kind of do like a, a monster kind of thing. We'll do Extinction Mode and it was something different and I think people liked it. I'm not too sure if they did or not uh, but it was something different. It was unique and I think that was good. I think it's a good thing when you got something unique and different. And then Advanced Warfare came out. They didn't really have a third mode but they were introducing Exo Zombies as part of DLC 1. And to be honest, I was a little peeved, I was a little pissed off when I first heard about it because they've got the yellow eyes. Why do they need to have yellow eyes? Why can't you make them something different? Why can't you make them white or red or whatever? They've even got a bloody dog that acts like the Hellhounds. And it, it kind of annoyed me, you know, this just seems like a reskin of Treyarch Zombies. Granted, there were some unique aspects like the Exo suit, the Poison Zombies, and then the actual human enemies that would set bombs and that. But again, it felt similar. Now, I've seemingly cooled on it, you know, Exo Zombies actually seems cool. So then we get to Zombies in Spaceland, and that's a really unique thing going on with their story. You know, the four get transported into a movie, and you can pretty much set them up for any situation. But again, we have yellow eyed zombies. But I feel like with all the yellow eyes, you know, people are gonna have a hard time finding the difference between them all. If you're a fan of the games, you know, you're gonna know the difference, but to the general audience, are they gonna know that? And what also kind of annoyed me with Zombies in Spaceland, uh, according to the achievements, their Pack-a-Punch is just called Pack-a-Punch as well. It's not anything different. And that kind of annoyed me, like, oh, you just have the same name as Treyarch's one. And you know, I'm okay if you're gonna take concepts from Treyarch, but you know, try and put a unique spin on it. Try and make it different. And I also should have said this as well, but they didn't have to be zombies. When Exo Zombies came out with the Exo suits and futuristic stuff, I said to myself, this could have been cyborg zombies. You know, COD Online, how they've got the, you know, the robots, uh, and you know, they've got the World at War maps as their zombie maps, but they're reskinned and it looks all futuristic and robot-like and all that. The setting in that just really would have fit robots. As for Infinite Warfare Zombies, the 80s theme, I don't know if that's going to stick around for all the maps or if they're going to make a different like kind of theme and setting for all of them. 
but they could have done something that isn't zombies. As I said before, robots. They could have done ghosts or they could have stuck with their aliens. But yeah, just the zombies theme in general, I just feel like people are going to get bored of it at some point. I don't know when, but you know, there's a zombies in all the Call of Duties now. There's not much to really point out the differences between them, you know, campaign multiplayer zombies. Hopefully it's not for a long time, I'm hoping Treyarch Zombies finishes off rightly, they don't just change it up just because it's not the in thing anymore, but I guess we'll see. Alright guys, thanks for listening to my rant, I don't hate Infinite Warfare Zombies, I don't hate Exo Zombies, I just wish they didn't do zombies with yellow eyes, they, you know, use something other than zombies, robots, cyborgs, ghosts, aliens, wish it just wasn't kind of all the same-ish. Anyway, thanks for listening and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers!